Hi, welcome back to Papa John's Pantry. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, reach out to us at papajohnspantry at gmail.com. Today we are making a universal Italian filling. And I call it universal because I am going to use this for lasagna, but this also, also is going to be the same stuff you would use for stuffed banana peppers, for manicotti, or for stuffed shells. Um, and so let's get to it. You're going to need a jar of Alfredo sauce. You are going to need, we're going to use two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. And this is a little bit, because I we have a restaurant supply company in Buffalo called Gordon's that I like to get stuff from because it's big, because I'm going to be making more things. Um, but when you go to your normal grocery store, um, uh, ricotta cheese will come in two different sizes. Uh, get the get the larger size, and that is going to be half of this container. Um, and so let's get to it. So we're going to. Ah, oh, I hate packaging. All right, I'm going to cheat. Like I said, this is what this channel is all about, is keeping it real. I am a real cook, not pretending to be something I'm not. I'm going to fumble. We're going to make mistakes together. We're going to do all kinds of stuff. So we're using half of this ricotta cheese, like I said, because that'll be one normal size container you get from whatever grocery store of your choice. Whether it's a, a Save-A-Lot or a Wegmans, it doesn't, ricotta cheese is ricotta cheese, so. All right, so that is a large container's worth of ricotta cheese. You're going to add one jar of Alfredo sauce to it. And this is one of those things too. You know, they make different kinds of Alfredo sauce. You, um, they make a, you know, like a four cheese kind, they make a garlic, they make, all kinds of jarred alfredo sauce. So this is something too. Every time you uh, you make your lasagna, if you use a different alfredo sauce in the mix, it'll give your lasagna a little bit of different taste. So let's say you make every, you know, every uh, first Sunday of the month lasagna day or something like that. You could have 12 different types of lasagna just because tasting lasagnas uh, because of just how um the just the variation with the uh with the um the alfredo sauce same with this you could use an italian cheese blend instead of mozzarella i use you know which they would have like romano and and parmesan and stuff mixed to it so we're going to use it's going to be about we'll, we'll see how this looks with two cups doesn't have to be exact so we're going to start mixing this up and if it's a little too thin I'll add some more cheese to it this is where you can go off on your own culinary adventure there's a lot of variables so you want this to be a little runny but not too runny it depends what you're doing with it if you're um, for lasagna you're going to want to this to be a little bit runnier because you're going to spread it on the noodles. If you were stuffing shells, you could get away with, with that because the shells will hold it in. If you were, see this is gonna be perfect for lasagna. If I was making manicotti, you know, which is the, the long tube stage shell, the, the long tube shaped shells, I would add another cup of cheese to this to thicken it a little bit. Um, Cause that you would have to pipe into the noodles and um, being runny like this, before it, it gets done baking, it, it'll it'll deflate. It'll come the the mix would just come running out the side. So you'd want to put you'd want to put for manicotti one more uh, one more um, one more cup of uh, uh, mo mozzarella cheese into this. Otherwise, that is your universal mix. You can, if you want, you can add some parsley to it just to give it some. To give it some flavor, their flavor, just some color, 
And since I used, what kind of Alfredo sauce did I use? I used roasted garlic parmesan, so I am not going to put garlic powder in here. If you use just a cheese Alfredo sauce, you I put a t you know put a tablespoon of, of garlic powder in here. That's something you can do to you know that's another variable. You, you put it in one time, you get yourself a just different tasting item. You, you leave it out, you get yourself a. A, a different tasting item. There's a lot of there's a lot of ways you can make the same thing over and over again and make it taste make it taste different. And now look look how look how good that looks. Just adding parsley to it, and you know it's just parsley. Uh, so that is our universal Italian stuffing filling uh, recipe. Thanks for watching.